Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a quick look at my scouting notes from January 30th on 2021 NHL Draft eligible Joshua Roy. Roy is a skilled offensive player who excels at making plays in a set position but struggles to push the pace of the play due to undeveloped athletic abilities. He showed to be an adept finisher who relied on delightful puck skills, superb shooting accuracy and sublime vision to impact the game on the cycle offense. Playing on the right wing tonight, the left-handed forward exhibited the dexterity to get to open spot in high danger areas. This allowed them to get various menacing opportunities thanks to smart off-puck positioning alone. Owning to an excellent vision and passing touch, Wade did not only open the play smoothly, but he created a few occasions for his teammates as well. Despite a few scoring chances on the cycle, Wade had a very marginal impact on the game, especially due to his poor skating abilities and lack of upper body strength. The problem was, most of his plays came from a set position, and when it was time to push the pace in transition or the puck pursuit, he trailed behind. Roy exhibited heavy feet on his 2-3 steps acceleration, completely lacking explosion and he reached very low top speeds. With the position of the disc on zone entries, he frequently showed a lack of strength or speed to get around rear guards who easily knocked him off the puck. I've noticed a few flaws in his stride that could be improved for better results. First up, Roy keeps a very upright stance throughout straight line drives which doesn't allow him to push through with optimal power. He also just doesn't extend his legs all the way through, which often makes it seem like he's not going all out. But most importantly, I'd like to see him more active with his feet, moving with the play. Because he struggled to keep up with the pace of breakouts, Roy often stayed very high on the outlet, which resulted in him being even more erased from the action. The Canadian prospect excels at opening the play on the outlet and creating zone exit. I'd like to see him as involved as possible. Besides, Roy uses his great mind for the game to process developing attacks and he is willing to make the effort to come on the back check if he reads he needs to. Although it was a pretty uninspired game for Roy, I'm optimistic about his future with Sherbrooke. If he can develop better habits with off-puck movement, and improve his athletic qualities, he possesses the skill set to make an impact and raise his stock for the upcoming draft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Here I come, you can't hide.